Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, first off, thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, the past two videos covering the ultimate prep for next, as well as the tier three guides, have really sort of blown up, and I, I appreciate the hell out of it, guys. Really means a lot to me. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on those bells. It helps me so, so very much, and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that. And then for next off, um, today is Thursday for me, and I will be uh, raiding tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern uh, at Twitch TV slash Kako Gaming. So if you want to see my live streams or sort of talk to me live, watch me do the raids. Um, we do AQ, um, BWL, as well as MC, <laughs> and e maybe even ZG or an AQ20. Um, if we're feeling ambitious, uh, our guild usually sort of uh, breaks off and does those occasionally as well. So just a lot of content, you know, and it's, it gives you guys a chance to sort of talk with me live and I'll happily answer any other uh, questions that you might have. An important thing to mention is it is DMF week um, for me today. So, you know, those are always fun raids. We're trying for a sub one hour AQ 40 clear which will be really really fun and impressive if we can get it and uh, I definitely uh Hope that we're able to. Um, but anyway, guys, I wanted to uh, take the time to sort of go into an individual class by class basis for the tier three sets. Um, sort of break it apart and look at each piece so that way you guys know exactly what you're looking for. I saw a lot on the tier three video that people sort of um, skipped around and looked for the exact uh, class they were. So I wanted to take a deep dive into that and sort of cover every single class and sort of what the mats, materials, and stuff you are going to need are. And first off, we're going to go over the pieces that you get from each boss and where you can find the tier pieces, as well as we will then go into the materials and the cost by class. So first off, we have um, Naxxramas. So Naxxramas is broken into four wings. There's the Plague Wing, the Spider Wing, the Death Knight Wing, and the Abomination Wing. And then there is the final wing, which is um, Saffron and KT. Um, but anyway, right here we have the spider wing. These are the first bosses. This is Anubarak and Grand Widow Feralina. And they drop the bindings for uh, the bracers for everyone. Um, these are the first two bosses of the spider wing. And then... Um, Mayrexnia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that as a fighter boss in the spider wing, and she drops the glove token. Now this is true for every single class. This is where you're going to get these pieces for your tier three. So that is the spider wing. Next we have the plague wing, which is Noth the uh, plague bringer, and uh, Hagen the unclean, as well as Lothib. Noth and Hagen drop the belt for everyone, and then uh, Lothiab drops the leggings for everyone. This is true um, for every single class. That's the important part, guys. Then next we have the Death Knight Wing, which is um, the Instructor, uh, Gothelic, and the Four Horsemen. So the Instructor and Gothelic drop boots for everybody, and the Four Horsemen drop everybody's chest fees, as well as the four horsemen dropped the corrupted ashbringer which is really really cool sword if you played retail and legion you actually got it as a brett paladin but um you can actually get this and it shows a quest line if you go into the scarlet monastery which is actually really really cool um just something to note and make you guys aware of um and then next we have um the abomination wing which is patchwork and grobulus now these guys drop the shoulder pads for everyone and then the final boss of the abomination layer is going to be gulf now gulf is definitely interesting it's because they ran out of bosses to sort of drop tier but he can drop the shoulders the wrists the belt and the boots for literally everyone and it's it's sort of a extra mini boss um or it's an extra sort of like an extra bonus boss to get a lot of loot and then there is uh, thaddeus who is the actual end boss of the abomination wing and he drops hel uh, helmet pieces for everyone and then you go into the final two bosses which is saffron and kt saffron actually does not drop any tier pieces just a lot of amazing uh cloaks trinkets and some off hands as well as these quests for enchants which are pretty good as well 
Um, and then we have the final boss, which is Kel'Thuzad, and he doesn't even drop a token. He directly drops the ring for your class. So if you need your class ring, um, that is where you get it. Alrighty guys, so that is it, sort of the bosses, where they drop their tier, where you're going to run into them, and what you're going to get. Um, and this is, intro is going to be the same for every single video, and now we are going to uh, cut to a different part where we are going to take a dive into each individual class, um, the mats it takes to get each piece, and sort of how much that's going to cost you. Alrighty guys, so we are going to head into that now, see you then, whoop! Alrighty guys, so we're here with our next class on the list and that is going to be Shaman now the Shaman set is the Earth Shatterer um, Pretty awesome in my opinion. This is actually one of those coolest sets I I think this one looks so much better than Paladin on as far as you know it being the Horde unique one and the Alliance one and I, I'm not trying to be biased obviously I'm playing Horde but I, I really do think this one just looks so much more cooler I don't really like the Paladin tier 3 shoulders in my own opinion but anyway let's get into the Earth Shatterer set the first piece we're going to come to is going to be the Earth Shatterer's wrist guards and they look right there, right there. And they look pretty nice, you know, they give you little flame rings around. So if you don't have gloves on that sort of fit this, then, you know, you can definitely show them off. Um, they are going to be six War Torn Chain Scrap, one Arcanite Bar, and two Cured Rugged Hide for a total of 104 gold, which is pretty nice. Um, next, we're going to have the Tier 3 Gloves, which are the Earth Shatterer's Hand Guards. Um, and these are going to cost you eight war torn chain scrap, one Arcanite bar, five cure dragon hide, and it's gonna be approximately 185 gold. Um, they look pretty cool. Um, once the set starts to come together, it gets like really intense, especially when we get to the shoulders and helm. Right now, they just sort of look like an off reddish sort of color. Um, next, we're going to have the Earth Shattered Girdle, and this is going to be right there. It has nice symmetry, which we always love to see um, with that, and it is going to cost you eight War Torn Chain Scraps, one Arcanite Bar, three Nexus Crystals. It's going to be approximately 86 gold. Next, we have the Earth Shatterer's Legs, and it is going to be B right here which is actually a robe and something super cool that they did here in classic is they made the robes not the same as the chest piece and when we see further in expansions the chest piece is not like that this is true with this set and the druids but it just looks really really awesome here um, like that and these legs use 20 war torn chain scrap three arcanite bars five cured rugged hide and are going to be approximately 285 gold so before we get to the rest of the set an important thing to mention is that these prices are drawn from my server as well as the war torn chain scrap i don't have any real way of assessing that so i don't know how much these are going to um sort of weigh in it but i'd imagine your guild will give you them if you get a tier token and are awarded with that um honor but anyway um i just want to let you know that these prices are varying and i do not use um the raw material value like i don't do arcane crystal um and thorium bar i do a straight up arcanite bar and then it's 50 gold on my auction house right now and these prices are only going to skyrocket so i highly highly encourage you guys if you need arcanite bars to go get those x mutes right away otherwise you're really going to be hurting um, but anyway, let's get on to it. The next one is the Earth Shatter Boots right here, and they're very red and sort of flow with the set quite nicely. Um, and these boots are going to run you 12 War Torn Chain Scrap, 1 Arcanite Bar, 3 Nexus Crystals, and are going to be approximately 86 gold. So that's, you know, very cheap considering the other legs as well as what we're about to talk about. And that is going to be the Earth Shatter Tunic, which is the Tier 3 chest piece. And it is going to 
cost you 25 war-torn chain scraps, four Arcanite bars, three cured rugged hides, and it's going to be approximately 281 gold. So that's a, that's a real punch in the gut right there. Um, but this chess piece is quite beautiful. As you can see, it really brings it all together. And now we have the final two pieces, which with almost every set, the head and the shoulders, given that they're deepest in the dungeon and look, some, look really, really amazing. Um, but anyway, let's get on to it it's going to be the earth shatter uh spouters spolders sorry about that and as you can see you get like glowing lava orbs on your shoulders which just looks so freaking cool um as you can see like you're always looking at the middle of the orb however we rotate it which is a really really cool effect in my opinion um i don't know it just like feels very shaman to me you know lava bending and like stuff like that i guess um just looks really really cool um and then next we have the final piece which is the tier three head piece which is the earth shatter head piece and something really cool as you notice is when i put this on my beard actually goes through it so if you're a shaman that has a beard or something um it definitely does not hide that but it definitely brings the set all together you know i look like a very old wise shaman and that's pretty cool um, this is my warrior, obviously, if you didn't figure that out, but I just wanted to call that out. Um, the head is going to be 15 uh, war-torn chain scraps, 4 arcanite bars, and 2 nexus crystals, and it's going to be approximately 224 gold. And now, something I forgot to mention with the shoulders is it's going to be um, 12 war torn chain scraps two arcanite bars and two moon cloth for 150 gold now the shoulders i want to mention these last because it's it's super um special because the two moon cloth is different from the hunter set of three cure drug and hide and that is the only difference here with these tier pieces and then finally we have the ring which is the ring of the earth shatter and it drops off of kel Zad, and it looks really um cool um i mean you can't really see it but it's pretty awesome and this is you know this is the free one it doesn't cost you anything so grants on that guys um but anyway guys this is the uh, shaman tier 3 the earth shatter set i really really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions for me feel free to drop a comment i look forward to reading them and trying my best to get back to each and every one of you Alrighty, guys i'll see you next time Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.